Hi Aries, welcome to your new love reading. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Aries, this is still in a uh, singles reading intended for singles wondering when new love may be coming into them. This could be your next date, your next significant relationship, your next encounter, hopefully. Uh, so we'll see how it resonates for you. If you do have a connection with somebody, but you're not necessarily together, so you do consider yourself single, I do also have love connection readings on the channel. So if you're new, you can check those out. Your playlists are below for your love in general, so you can find them in there. And I do consider all my readings timeless, so if you want to go back and watch past readings, even though they're dated, feel free. Um, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, male or female. Um, take it out what resonates for you. If you feel like, well, I don't think that really pertains to me, that's totally fine. Um, and I could also probably, you know, sometimes pick up on something from the past. I mean, that could happen, but this is intended and my intentions are for something new. So hopefully this will resonate for you and uh, we'll see what we get here. So welcome everyone. I hope you're staying safe and healthy at this time. So I did change the format just a little tiny bit. If you're familiar with my past readings, I did look into this person's energy and then uh, where and how you may meet them, time frame, uh, what kind of connection it would be. But I changed it up just a little bit. You can leave me some comments below. Let me know how you like this style. Um, I'm open to suggestions also. So what I'm going to do here is still get their energy and then we'll clarify that with the tarot. And then we'll also look into how you'll feel about each other what blockages or challenges there may be in the connection, advice, uh, guidance, outcome. We'll look at that also. So you can let me know how you like this. And then we also may see like maybe how you'll meet this person in a time frame. That may come out also. So if I see that, I'll tell you. And for signs, I'm just going to go by court cards, kings and queens. So it's not so confusing. But they could be literally, literally any person, any sign. So don't get too caught up with that. All right, so Aries. So this deck here, we're going to get like their energy. What kind of energy are they in? Are they sitting in right now? The energy of this person for Aries singles, new love, sun, moon, rising, and Venus, male or female, general collective. This is a general collective reading, not a private reading. Please keep that in mind. Aries, I'll take that one. I'm going to pull all three first, one from each deck. So this deck here sort of get like their spiritual soul kind of energy. So what is the spirit and soul of this person? What is the spirit and soul of this person like? For Aries, new love, singles, who's coming towards them? What is their soul and spirit energy like? For Aries, singles, please. Thank you so much. That's three. I just want one. <laughs> All right, this one. All right, so with this deck here, we'll get their love energy. What is their love energy like? How do they feel and think about love? How are they in love? See what we get here. This, uh, Aries, singles, new love, sun, moon, rising, Venus, male and female, the general collective. What is this person's love energy like for Aries spirit? Please, thank you so much. Oh, I guess that one. All right, Let's see what we have here. So we have win or lose. So we have the five of swords. Hmm. So the five of swords can be an energy of like getting ahead at all costs. It can be kind of like an ego centric kind of energy. Um, you know, win or lose. It could be an energy of getting ahead no matter what I need to do. And that could be a good energy or a bad energy. It could be an energy just laying down, laying down giving up the fight, feeling it was all for nothing. Um, is this a losing battle kind of energy? So we'll see when we get into the tarot, we'll clarify more with that. But fives are about change and challenge. So this person may have gone through a lot of changes and challenges in their life. And they're all like, you know, <laughs> win or lose, whatever. It's kind of, kind of the energy I'm getting. And then we have cycles and rhythms. I, I can't make this up. Honor the cycles of your body, energy levels, and emotions. But cycles and rhythms, I'm just getting this person's been through a lot of ups and downs. They've been through a lot of changes and challenges in their life. Wow. Okay. And we have be supportive. Make a genuine effort to show you care. 45 is 9. 
Nine is almost out of completion. It may be hard for this person to show love, to show that they really care. They could have just been through a lot, like a lot of different things, challenges, circumstances in their life. And it made them like, could, could have made them the type of person where it's hard to show uh, love and affection for some reason. But I think spirit's really trying to work with them to tell them they need to be uh, more affectionate, loving kind of energy. Because you see this woman trying to, you know, be affectionate to the man. And he's kind of like standoffish a little bit. So, oh boy, Aries. All right, let's clarify this energy. Let's clarify this energy. Let's clarify this energy. Yeah, I'm having even a hard time shuffle my cards. So <laughs> I think this person's been through a lot of struggles. Been through a lot of struggles. All right. So let's clarify this energy for Aries. What's going on here with this person? What is this energy for Aries? New person coming in. New person coming in for Aries. Ten of Wands, yeah. Laying down heavy burdens. Yeah, they've been through a lot of burdensome energies here. A lot of endings, a lot of completions, a lot of burdens. The High Priestess. So they may not have told, they may be very secretive about their life and what they've been through. I feel. Because the High Priestess is about, you know, intuition, higher knowing but also can be very secretive. So I feel like they may not want to tell you all the changes, challenges, things they've been through. Maybe they're ashamed of it. Maybe they're embarrassed. Because this is telling you to honor the cycle. So I feel like, I, I don't feel like they do. I feel like they're embarrassed and ashamed. And ashamed. Could have something to do with their mother. Something that happened with their mother growing up. You know, maybe their mother, so we do have toxic energy here. So maybe their mother wasn't, you know, the best mother. <laughs> she could have had addictions, um, mental health problems, all kind of problems here, which affected him growing up. Maybe he had to carry the weight. You know, maybe it was just him and his mother and he had to carry the weight of all the burdens of the two of them. And maybe he's ashamed of that and he may not... Well, he, whoever this is, male or female, they may not want to tell you about their past. Wow. So, yeah, I this the shadow. So this person really, really um, needs to face their shadow side. Wow. I'm getting secrets with their mother, something with their family. Wow. What do we have here? So strength in reverse in the four pentacles yeah so this person i don't think they're going to be the strongest person um here with the strength in reverse someone who link lacks confidence strength willpower determination because we have the four pentacles this is an energy of like holding back emotions feelings holding just holding back in general a little kind of grumpy actually <laughs> oh my it may be a kind of like a negative, uh, pessimistic person in a way. Lacking confidence. Wow. So, oh, okay. So let's see. <clears throat> like they're holding on to whatever they do have. They're holding back. So I don't think this person is going to tell you what happened with them in their life. I think they're very, very secretive. And the father coming out. All right. This is big family issues here. Big family. I'm putting that up here. There's a lot of cards up here. But big family issues. Mother, the father, the ten of wands, shadow, strength in reverse. It's not a good family situation here. The devil. They're going to be very secretive about that. And I feel like whatever happened here uh, made them not so much of a strong person. Lacking confidence. Uh, yeah, holding back their energy here. And maybe they never dealt, 
you know, healed and dealt with all these issues. It's still haunting them. All right, so let's see how you will feel about this person, Aries. 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 Five of Cups. Let's get two more. The Knight of Wands. So there may be an attraction between the two of you. Maybe fiery, passionate. Maybe they could be an in and out kind of person, which will leave you kind of uh, sad over here. The star, you may try to heal this person. You may feel like a passionate connection to them because you see the rainbow there with like luck expansion. So you may try to uh, brighten them up, cheer them up, uh, try to heal them, you know, remaining uh, hopeful, optimistic about the connection. Because this star is all about healing, faith, hope, optimism, wishes, dreams coming true, divinely guided energy. But you see the smoke up here. So there's a lot. That's all that turmoil here. So it's a lot of passion too. And you see them as somebody like sad and, you know. And I think you're going to try your best here to try to like divinely guide them, heal them, um, try to raise their spirits, their vibration. So you know, let's see. Let's see how they would feel about you. How they would feel about you. The Six of Pentacles. They're going to see you as someone very balanced, secure, and stable. We do have the Ten of Swords here. And the Page of Wands. That's fiery communication. So again, there's a lot of fire and passion here and attraction. But I think in their mind's eye, they're going to say, well, this is not going to go well anyway because of all the things they've been through in their life. They're going to see it. And when the long run, it's just going to turn into the Ten of Swords in it anyway. So they may just want to keep it on the passionate in and out kind of energy to avoid, you know, going deeper because it may, they feel if it goes deeper than that, it's just going to end badly anyway. So why would I want to go any deeper than just the passion? You're going to try like the Dickens here to, you know, try to heal, heal them, the situation, divinely guide them kind of energy. But in the long run, you may end up feeling a little bit sad or you just see them in that energy. But they see you as somebody, you know, very wise and balanced and independent and, um, you know, in a good energy. But they still have a negative outlook here. Probably just in relationships in general. All right. So, let's see, we have... No kings and queens yet, as for signs, but I am seeing summer energy and fall and winter energy. So, and I do see the rain here, rainbow here, something, you know, by a stream or water, or maybe something in the mountains, nighttime. All right, so let's see here. Let's see what the challenges and blockages would be in this connection. So yeah, nine of wands. Someone's been through the ringer. Definitely there. Could be their energy. But here is, you know, marriage commitments. My twin flame card. It's uh, marriage commitment ceremonies. Stability in the home life. So challenges here is trying to stabilize this person because they've been through. They've been through it. They've been through a lot here and <laughs> someone may just blockage here again i mean <laughs> note the passion um so now we got the king of cups which could be pisces energy so there is going to be love okay there is going to be feelings and love but maybe a challenge for this person to really embrace that you know show show it because we did have up here uh, be supportive, which is about showing acts of kindness and things like that. So in the King Cup, sometimes doesn't always verbalize how they feel, show how they feel. 
So it's really going to be a blockage here to get this person to really open up to their heart space, uh, to heal, to, um, you know, be in that energy, to let love in. You know, I don't know if this person can let love in. So it's going to be a challenge here to do that with this person, to try to get them to commit and not walk away because they've been through so much so much and i don't know if they're even going to tell you that because we do have the moon here again which can be about uh secrets so wow what else six of swords so it's about healing balance going into a better place so it's gonna be a challenge to heal you know try to get them to heal and balance out their energy so this can move on to a better place to open up their heart space and heal that energy to feel love, want love, show love, not, you know, so they, you know, don't walk away to try to get them commit. You're, you're going to have your work set out for you. If you decide to, uh, try to move this connection along, but I do see that there is love and passion, but it's going to be difficult to challenge here. All right. So let's see here for advice guidance outcome now here's the ace of swords so this is truth clarity aha moment epiphany cutting away things no longer serving this is my divinely guided energy my divine intervention divine clarity it's victorious new beginning so there is the energy here to have a victorious new beginning <laughs> which could lead to the ten of cups total happiness joy fulfillment in every single way happy home and family king of swords so someone gaining enlightenment here did you see the sword there and the sword here someone gaining enlightenment so now we have gemini gemini pisces all right so i think if you feel like you can work with this person if you have the patience to do that you got your work cut out for you but this could lead to the ten of cups yeah and this is seven of pentacles has that patient energy and I just said that, so Spirit wanted me to say it. So if you, and this is about, you know, evaluating, assessing, uh, do I want to invest, not invest, waiting for something to blossom here. So if you have the patience to work on this, to invest in this, this could lead to the Ten of Cups. And this person could eventually see the light and gain clarity here now sitting strong upon this throne and uh, holding that sword of enlightenment. So it depends on how much you want to invest in this uh, Aries, but you would have your work cut out for you, I feel. But the energy is here for it to happen. They're going to feel confused. They're not going to be sure about this, but we do have the King of Wands energy. So this could be uh, Sagittarius. So again, I feel there's a lot of fire and passion between the two of you. But here's that moon energy with secrets. So to get them to open up and reveal what they've been through so they can open that back up and heal it and, you know, face their shadow side is going to be a challenge here because we do have the moon, which can be about secrets. But here's the divinely guide to bring a beginning in love, Ace of Cups energy. So this could be them open, finally opening up, opening up their heart space and facing all those emotions and feelings that they've kept hidden deep, deep down inside that they never honored these cycles and rhythms and let everything just flow and heal it. So crossroads here. So somebody at a crossroads, you are them about what do we do with this energy? But putting in the dedicated effort and the hard work with the Eight of Pentacles energy. But... Uh, yeah, they're gonna go. They're gonna go through it here at the Nine of Swords, dealing with all that heartache and pain they've been through. But you know what? Coming out justified in the end, standing in truth and clarity and balance, and getting the justice they so deserve in life after all the pain and heartache they've been through. Wow, this is like a major intense reading here. And there's that fiery, passionate new beginning with the Ace of Wands. You know, fiery, passionate communication going back and forth celebrating celebrating all their emotions everything and now celebrating life chariot now driving this forward success victory balance 
and soulmate union with the two of cups wow so <laughs> if you want this soulmate union this definitely is a soulmate here but i feel like you have a challenge if you choose if you're up for this challenge aries and uh you want this fight for it don't give up because it does have the opportunity here to go all the way this person can go through like dark night of the soul in a way and deal with all this past energy wow well aries that was pretty intense okay aries so uh best of luck to you sending you many light love and blessings and as i always say with my channel to always always shine your light